This type of study is what's called an observational study. And so we're gathering information to see how things change over the first six months after somebody has a subcortical ischemic stroke, looking at things like how their thinking changes, if their thinking is impaired in any way, uh, if their MRI changes in any way, um, and how blood-based biomarkers change. So what biomarkers mean are uh, certain components in the blood that we can measure that may give us an idea of somebody's risk for developing problems with their thinking or memory, um, or may give us an idea of whether they may be at risk um, in the future. So we are looking for patients who are over the age of 40 who have had a subcortical ischemic stroke in the last six months. Uh, major reasons that people may not be able to participate in the study is that they cannot get MRI imaging for whatever reason, um, they have significant kidney or liver problems, um, or they were previously diagnosed with dementia. Participants in the study will come for three study visits, a baseline, a three-month visit, and a six-month visit. The visits will mainly involve MRI imaging, cognitive testing, and a blood draw. We'll also ask for some history and for them to take a survey. In uh, 2016, the NIH mandated a, an initiative called the Mark VCID Consortium. The idea was to better understand uh, the vascular contributions to cognitive impairment and dementia. In our early participation in Mark VCID, we've had two important publications that have come from this work, one released earlier this year uh, and then one uh, in 2020. Both have focused on the idea that we can use the bloodstream and markers that are reliably detected in the bloodstream in at-risk individuals to get an advanced signal of what might be going wrong in the brain. And while it's imperfect and it can't be a panacea for diagnosing someone with a complex brain disease, it can be an early screening tool. While we're excited to draw from our own neurology uh, group here at UCLA, uh, this study will benefit from uh, two uh, patients who come from two different groups. Uh, one is a really broad um, uh, a racial and ethnic population that will include uh, underrepresented groups including Hispanics and African Americans. Uh, the second uh, feature is that a lot of the patients who are at the very early stages of this disease don't often see a neurologist. Um, they all, we're all, we would be interested in patients who uh, are in the very early stages or have the risk factors that might later lead to memory impairments such as high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and diabetes. If you'd like more information about the conceived study and are an interested patient, you can get in contact with our study team in one of three ways. The first way is to use the QR code on the screen, which will take you to a website asking for you to put in your name and contact information, and our study coordinator would reach out to you. You can contact our study coordinator, Christina, directly um, at the phone number and email address on the screen. The final option is to use the link in the description below this video.